Hello everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. I have uh, something important to talk to you about for a few minutes. Um, over the next several months, our church is going to be um, seeking God's direction for our future about what we should be doing, where we're going in the next year, the next three years, the next five years. Uh, it's an important uh, process. Um, but before we just dive into that, we're, we're not, we can't just dive into that like we were a regular old business um, because we're a church. And it raises the question, what is a church? Um, I don't expect this is a question that you know, I ever got taught in school. I don't think it's something probably most people are talking about at dinner, um, but it's an important question. Um, so I wanna talk about it. If we don't talk about it, we tend to um, just assume that church is like my next closest experience, like maybe being part of a tennis club or a golf club. And it's often kind of just assumed without thinking about it that the church is a club. Definitely not what the church is. So give me a couple of moments to talk to you about this. We can't really answer the question, what is the church, um, without answering, who is Christ? Who is he? Christ is God who has come down and become a human being. God, he's God and man, God in a human body. And in that human body, you know, Jesus, you read the Gospels, he went around doing wonderful things. He did a lot of teaching and he taught things. They were so liberating and freeing, a lot about forgiveness, but a lot about love and a lot about um, the, just the way to live that was life-giving and life-receiving. He did a lot of teaching. He went around just giving life. Uh, you know, he would heal the sick, show compassion, even raise the dead. He opposed evil and tossed that out. He had works of compassion just flowed out of him, feeding multitudes. This was Christ. And as he did this, what he said was going on was that the kingdom of God had arrived. There's other kingdoms, many of them very exploitive, not the kingdom of God. He said in him, the kingdom of God was here doing kingdom things. It, was, it had arrived and was active in one man, him, the king, okay? But God's plan was not to keep what was going on as a one-man thing, a one-man army. Jesus wanted and plans and is including other people in what he is doing, in his restoring, in his renewing of people and of the world, okay? He's including others in that. Not only including them in what he's doing, but it gets stronger than that. Including people in him. Now, this is kind of a mystical thing, but it's a reality and we must talk about it. Being included in Christ. You know that through faith, faith is a powerful supernatural thing and by faith, we have a union with the Spirit of Christ. We're spiritually united to God. Uh, in baptism, standing here at the baptism, baptism is spoken again and again about being baptized into Christ. That's a mystical thing, but into him. Um, we receive at the altar his body and his blood, really his body and blood. And Christ is coming into us. It's, it's a union with Christ, being in him. So what's the church then? The church, the first of all, the church is people. It's not a building. We have a building. Uh, if we had no building, we'd still have church. Church is people. People who are in Christ. And the Bible again and again, calls the church the body of Christ. That would be completely inexplicable if it wasn't for what I just said. The church is the body of Christ. So we're his hands, his hands to go around and hug and, and, and show compassion and do good works. We're his feet going where he wants us to go, getting out of our chairs and going where, where restoration and, and renewal is needed. We're his mouth to repeat his teaching and his wonderful words, especially words of forgiveness, but others as well. We're his ears to listen with compassion. The church is the body of Christ. When the world looks at the people of the church, God wants the world to see what Christ is doing. They can see his body. So we're the body, who's Jesus? He's the head. You know, my head is telling my hands and people what to do, the direction we're gonna go in. Jesus is the head, we are his body. And so we are beginning a process here uh, at St. James Lutheran of seeking our head and asking him, what do you 
want us to be doing? We, we probably got to get a handle on what we have been doing. Yes, it's important, you know, for launching into the next stage. But what do you want us to be doing going forward? Where, Jesus, are you taking us? What should we get ready for? Um, the direction, the future, a vision for that. And now our congregation has a mission statement. Um, sometimes it's surprising to people that we have one, although it's printed in the bulletin every Sunday, but never mind. You'll, you'll, you'll see it now that I draw your attention to it. Um, we are to join with Jesus, and this is our mission statement, change lives with the love of God to the glory of God. Change lives with the love of God to the glory of God. Now to actually take specific action on that, we, we need specifics. And that's what we are seeking God about. So how are we doing that? We're thinking. We're, th we're thinking, and the Holy Spirit is in us, and he gets involved in our thinking. We're talking. We're going to be talking to one another, and the Spirit will be involved in those conversations and that given too. And especially we will be praying, oh, God, show us, uh, reveal to us, uh, make it clear to us what we're doing. It's a, it's a process. It's not a lightning bolt. It's a process of discovery to discern God's plans for us, his people, his church, his body. Now, this, this video has gone out. Thanks for watching this far. I'm nearly done. There's also a survey. Is going up and that's the beginning of the process the survey it's got about 10 questions on it is to kick start us as a congregation thinking thinking uh, to get our minds onto God and what he's been doing here and what he may have for us next would you please do the survey um, as much as you can with those questions um, later um, in the spring and summer, there's going to be small discussion groups, call them focus groups if you want. We'll be discussing stuff like this, but the, 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 the survey is going to kind of get it stirred up and we're going to be discussing it. the very things I've been talking about here. Uh, later on, um, there will be a church-wide town hall um, to try and put this all together. And, it's, and the, the desired outcome is finally we'll have a, a, a one, three, and five-year plan that we feel God is in. So as the body of Christ, let us together seek our head, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.